Capacia, congratulations, baby. What if I couldn't speak? What if I couldn't eat? What if I couldn't move? Would you still love me? What if my body ate? I always made you late What if I couldn't wait Would you still love me? Would you love me when it's hard And our life's falling apart If the things that we once knew were long gone If our blue skies turn to gray And my memory fades away Would you still love me? Would you still love me? What if I'm complicated? Always leaving you frustrated. Nothing ever went quite right. Would you still love me? Wish I could let.
I, I, Brooks, you know to McDonald. Oh, come on, come on. The guy is serious. Hallelujah. Take you. Take you, UJ Bon Bon Sunnyway. To be my wedded wife. To, to be my wedded wife. To have you. To have you. To hold you. To hold you. From this day forward. From this day forward. To take. To care take, of. To take care of. To encourage. To encourage. In prosperity. In prosperity. Adversity. Adversity. I promise to live for Christ. I promise to live for I Christ. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. Trust forever. And trust forever. With this commitment. With this commitment. I pledge. To I you, pledge to you my life. My life. Whoa. Put your hands together for me. Now is it turn of the bride. <coughs> okay. You gotta repeat after me. I I yeah, yeah, you are. <laughs> I, UJ Sonaway. <laughs> Can you hear it? No. Okay. Say, I, I, UJ Sonaway. Take you. Take you, Bruce Nunati McDonough. Yeah. Yeah. To be my wedded to husband. Be, to be my wedded husband. That's right. Mm. To take you. To take you. To hold you. To hold you. From this day forward. From this day forward. To take care of. To take care of. Them. Encourage. Encourage. In prosperity. In prosperity. Adversity. Adversity. I promise. I promise. To live for Christ. To live for Christ. I promise. I promise. To love. To love. Trust you forever. Trust you forever. With this commitment. With this commitment. I pledge. I pledge. To you my life. To you. My oh, mind. come on, put your hands together. <laughs> now we're going to go forward on with the, the next one, which is the exchange of rings. <coughs> okay. Um, a symbol of your commitment of love they are made up of pure gold expressing the purity, purity that should always be in marriage you are going to exchange these rings in full awareness of the deep implication thereof okay so Mr. Brooks do you have anything that you're going to present to your beautiful Wife, as a token of your love. Yes, I do. Okay, put your hands together. <laughs> the guy means business. He isn't joking. Okay, so you're going to repeat after me. I'm going to first of all pray over the ring. Okay. Thank you. Father, in the name of your son Jesus, we dedicate and sanctify these rings today. May they be a symbol of true love and token of commitment between these two. Bless these rings now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now, the best man. Okay. So, Mr. Eugene, you're going to repeat this after me. I want to say, I want you to say it like you mean it because I, I know you mean business. Okay, are you ready, Mr. EJ? Uh, Mr. Brooks, sorry. Yes, I am. Okay. Okay. Um, you may stretch for your left arm. And uh, yep. Can, can you repeat this after me? I give this ring. I give this ring. 
as a, a visible token of my love. As a physical, a physical token of my love. I give it to you. I give it to you. As a physical token of my permitment commitment. As a physical token of my permitment commitment. And dedication to you. And dedication to you. From today. From today. I'm yours. I'm yours. You're mine. You are mine. I love you with all my heart. I love you with all my heart. And I always love you. And I will always love you. In the name of Jesus. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Oh, come on. Put your hands together for Jesus. Okay, may you repeat after me. I give this ring. I give this ring as a visible, as a visible token of my love. Token of my love. I give it to you. I give it to you of my permanent, per, permanent commitment. Of my permanent commitment and dedication to you. And dedication to you. From today. From today. I'm yours. I'm yours. You're mine. You are mine. I love you. I love you with all my heart. With all my heart. And I always love you. And I will always love you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Put your hands together. Get up for Jesus. Now, if you wish this couple's happiness, long life, prosperity, joy, they want to stretch for your hand and begin to pray for them. I humbly ask you to pray for them. The Bible says, not by might, it's not by power. But my spirit said the Lord. The Bible said that, Jesus said, without me, you can do nothing. And indeed, without him, we can do nothing. Oh, Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you praise. Keep it them, preserve them. For they have answered to your call that a man will leave the parents and people to his wife and both become one. It's no longer one plus one, but it's two, but it's one plus one equal one. Father, may you order their step and you bless them in every way, O oh God. Why ever the touch, O oh God, may it prosper in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I pray you will surround them, O oh God, with your pavilion, O oh God. Yeah. You will keep them, O oh God, in every way, O oh God. Yeah. I pray to God you will be the center and you will be the fulcrum of their relationship. Yeah. And everything, Lord, I will consult you, O oh God. You will, oh God. you will establish them in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I commend their gifts to you. Their family, even extended family, I pray, oh God, that you, God, be exalted in everything. Amen. Thank you for humanity. Thank you for all you, Jehovah. They have taken them, and they are, they, are, they are taking the full step, oh God, to answer to the call. Amen. Oh, may your blessing, may your blessing, Amen. may your protection Amen. rest in the bar with them. Amen. To Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Oh, put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. Now you may stand on your feet. Okay. Mr. Bro, get up first. Men are true. Yeah. Mr. Brox, are you ready? Oh man, I am ready. Okay, you look ready. Okay, you may kiss your bride. Oh, 
days of my life I praise you Everything that I have now you gave to me, Baba Lord, I say for your love I'm great, oh Yes, you love me plenty, you came to die for me Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nisi I am that I am Ooh. Oh, I search around, there's no one else like you I love Judah, Judah made a man in battle
You found a brother in the person where you are not from the same mother or father. And you guys are able to build on a way better relationship. I moved from Buffalo, Maryland, 2006 to Minnesota. Right after my graduation, uh, uh, I injured my leg, I lost my scholarship, and uh, I picked up a job at a medical assembly company. Funny thing is, I ran into a young lady from Cameroon. At the time, I had a dreadlock. So I work on the seventh shift, girls work on the fifth shift. And uh, for some reason, because of my dreadlocks, the author was African American and I was from Jamaica. Because I was a quiet guy, but really didn't say much. A short period of time, I started talking to the young lady on the seventh shift, whereby. Bruce was also talking to the young lady on the fifth ship. The same lady. Long story short, Brooks picked up over time on my ship, seven ships. Really? And we happened to be working at the same station. But he clocked in before me. I was a couple minutes late. When I got to the session, the young brother was on the phone with another like the brother from another ship who already knew my story with the girl. Uh, you know, we all like brothers say they were gossiping. Brothers were telling the other guy, oh, guess what? Look at the name of my ship. That I had to be a regular guy working with. I talked to the man who the other ship. I walked in majestically. No, it was on, he was on the phone. I saw him as he recognized I was coming to the and he told the guy, Oh, he coming. <laughs> so they hung up the phone. <laughs> as soon as I saw that, I told my man, Yo, what are you talking about? He said, What? You not like real? Once you now work at the station, we are changed number. First introduced me to the La Brava Pavilion in Minnesota. My fiance at the time and I was going at it. Things didn't work out too well. I end up on Bruce's couch. For months. I read a book by TDJ's called do you think you're a man? Mm. I was on that boat for about two weeks. I fasted, I prayed, and I kept asking God, why me? Why my own books is couch? Shortly after, I had an opportunity. Sorry I can't go into details, but God changed my life from that point on. I set up a few businesses in Minnesota. Some friends of ours brought a little politics between my brother and myself. And we fell out. But I said to him, I said, Brooks, my brother. Whoever brings the politics between us, you know, when they will fix it because the hands that feed you, there's nothing you can do to that hand. You fed me, there's nothing I can do to you. I fed you, there's nothing you can do to me. I heard Brooks move to North or South Dakota, we wasn't talking. I heard you got into some problems out there. I was bothered by it. But I can't pray for my brother for this I heard you moved to Ohio. I said, what? You want to move to Ohio? To who? I said, hey, your friend, Elton. Elton says, I said, Elton? <laughs> That's funny. 
What about some Ethel and I was good friends? So what's on this stuff too? Ethel and they like, what we call it, like, what we call it, it's fair there. Fair there. So I said, well, this is a story. Ethel don't let fair there people, you don't let bad people. But I better make this, sister. So I call you. I said, Ethel. So how you feel about the whole situation I go on? It's the whole situation. I said, my sister didn't you, Jay. He said, who told you? I said, ah, but I'm not gross, no more. So, mama, what you trying to say? I said, ah, but he said, man, I fell that man, and man, I fell that man. But then, my dear sister, you ain't got something to say to you. He said, oh, mama, you ain't got to talk. Simple problem. Months later, somebody called me. He said, have you talked to your brother, Brooks? I said, but why? I've not talked to Brooks. No. So you got to so you need to call your brother. Yes, if you want to stop. I don't know if you just called out of the blue, you know, I should call my brother. I said, I don't have those new number. He put that in the number. I call his phone. The first thing he said, he recognized the dog. Come on, I said, yeah, my bro. We didn't talk about anything of what caused the problem with our relationship. We just started talking as brothers. I said, my man, you need to calm down. We need to fix some few things. He said, what are you talking about? I said, you remember when I was dating on your couch? Shortly after, the old man blessed me. You know, and I set up a few businesses. And to be honest with you, I set up these businesses because I wanted you both to oversee them. We all know how smart you are. But if you're out there with your lady, and you can't return to Minnesota, I understand. But one thing for sure, whenever you need me, I am here. And I would love to meet the young lady that you're with today. I spoke with her on the phone a few times. I already don't know a whole lot about you, Jay. That's all I'm speaking on you, Jay. But I appreciate the fact that she was the one to take my brother from nowhere. To somewhere. I said from nowhere to somewhere. You know the boys that I'm talking about? We will go from casino to casino. We will drink. Alcohol. No control. On the loose. So when they told me that he had met a woman, who cleaned Brooks up? I said, wow. Wow. I'm happy. Because I myself, I walked away from alcohol six years ago. Not because the doctor told me to walk away. Not because the doctor said I had a problem. I walked away from the casino that had an addiction as well. Including Brooks. Including my brother who lost his mother this morning, Tio. We were all part of that clique. But look at Brooks today. Brooks called me and told me, my brother, Aisha, I'm getting married. I said, you're getting what? He said, my man, before I even go to the conversation, I want to pray. I said, you pastor? <laughs> but don't mind. I myself. God make me who I am because I fast and pray every month. But I don't tell nobody. So coming from Brooks that I know, I said, come here. church is not here. And Brooks want to pray with me on the phone? I said, God step in. God, I pray along with him. And I told him, my brother, if this woman make you happy, stay there. If you're telling me that this woman has changed your entire life, I bless God for you. You did. I stand here today. I didn't want to break the news. But I'll say, Brooks, I kept this from you for a long time. Just know, I own three businesses in Minnesota. You have 10% in it. My brother, man, I 
love him. Thank you. And he accepted me as a home. So I want to say thank you for everything. Um, thanks to my son behavioral family. Yeah. <laughs> I want to say thanks to the Monarchy family. Yeah. I, I want to say thanks to my boys, my brothers. You know, some of these guys drove 15 hours to come here just for me. And I don't know about them, it's a lot of love. If somebody's going to drive 15 hours for you, it's a big deal to me, you know? So I want to say thank you to you guys from out of state. I want to say thanks to the ladies for helping me to make this day a success. I really appreciate it. I mean, words cannot be expressed. I, I'm, I'm just overwhelmed. Thank you so much. Thanks to my kids who didn't want to see me dance. Thanks. <laughs> Every time I try to, to boogie down a little in the crib, my daughter gets mad. So every time I want to make her mad, I just put a song on. You know, I want to say thank you to my beautiful wife, Boom Boom. I want to say thanks to you for everything that Rodney said. Nothing to something. I want to say thanks to Mr. Elton Sonnyway. This one is for you and your family. Just know that I appreciate it wherever you are. You know, Mr. Roland Sonnyway, who came all the way from LIB to make this day a success. I really appreciate it. Says Mami, just everybody. I can't keep naming. I mean, if I keep naming, naming today, I won't leave. And special thanks to my pastor and his family. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I, I can't. I can't say enough. You know, I'm. I'm so happy right now. It's a whole lot of love in the air today. You know, and I. Uh, I just want to say thanks. You know, I. I I'm, I'm running out of words. I'm too overwhelmed. If I continue to talk, I will probably get emotional. You know. So thank you so much. Let's have fun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.